Hello, I am Dr. Shudapto Pakrasi from the Vedanta Hospital. I am here to inform you that we are about to witness a solar eclipse on Sunday, the 21st of June. This will start at 18 minutes past 10 in the morning and will reach its peak by 1 minute past 12 and will continue till 48 minutes past 1 p.m. in the afternoon. Now, it is of great significance to, to us ophthalmologists to inform you about the potential dangers and what effects it can have on the eye. The structure of the eye is as follows. This part of the eye is called the pupil. This is from where the light enters the eye. This functions like an automatic aperture control in an automatic camera. So when there is excessive amount of light, the pupils constrict to restrict the amount of light. And when there is less amount of light, for example, in the dim light at night, the pupils will expand to let in more light into the eye. Whatever be the mechanism, the light will enter through this and reach this part of the eye called the macula right at the back. This macula is approximately 500 microns in width, in diameter, which is approximately half a millimeter in uh, length. This is where 80% of your vision is concentrated. When there is an eclipse, the visible amount of light is blocked by the moon and what enters the eye through an enlarged pupil are the harmful radiations which is the infrared radiations. They can in excessive amounts burn and cinch the retina which could lead to a condition called solar retinopathy and in excessive amounts still it can cause either a partial thickness hole in the retina or a full-fledged macular hole. We have seen many patients over the last 35 years who have without information looked in the sun during the eclipse times and got their retinas burnt. A few of these symptoms may recover over a period of time but the structural damage may never go away and a lot of patients are left with permanent blindness. So please ensure that you, your family members, your loved ones, your friends, especially children, are informed about this. Now what are the mechanisms which you can see the eclipse? Well, the easiest thing are the uh, goggles which are available. These goggles are specially designed for viewing the eclipses. They are ISO certified and it's ISO 12312-2 which is the specific kind of lens which can be used to witness the eclipses. Short of this, the welder's shields which the welders use while doing welding could also be utilized. Please do not watch the eclipse with your naked eyes. Please don't watch it with glasses, with goggles. Please do not use cell phones, no cameras, no binoculars no telescopes work do not put carbon or suit or candle black in the, you know blackening the glass with the candles and try and watch it through that they all will burn and cause retinopathy changes in the retina be very very careful and even if you are able to get these glasses for your children make sure that they are not trying to look over the glass children should be specially looked into because they feel they can see better without those glasses. Now this is very very important information. Make sure that you're able to enjoy the eclipse properly only if you have the proper equipment which is these certified glasses. Do not try and watch the eclipse even through a cell phone or a camera or through dark glasses. They don't work. Enjoy the clips and be safe.